This is TBRU 2019. We are here for MonsterCub.com, and I'm here with... Demita Sanchez. And with the monster himself... Hunter Scott. How are y'all doing? Oh my gosh, so good. Uh, good, but I'm fucking tired. It's been a long weekend for both of us. That is true, and I can't believe I'm in drag on a Monday <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> I appreciate you so much for doing that. Uh, I can't believe I'm in clothes on a Monday afternoon. Oh. Uh, so this is the, the way things go. Well, is this your first TBRU? Um, this is actually my uh, kind of second. Last year I came and got to experience the festivities. I'm like, found out it was the biggest bear run in America. And I'm just like, that is my heaven, yeah. you know what I mean? So, um, but this year I really got to be more involved with it working with the Roundup and just getting to work the event and performing and meeting everyone. So it was such a blast. It was such a blast to see you too. You were just always going wild. You know, <laughs> she always brings a smile on my face when she comes around. When she's not there, I'm like, damn, where's the party at? You know? I usually have to be the funny one then. Oh my God. This girl has me laughing for days. Uh, this is my fifth TBRU in a row. I didn't actually start doing it until the website started sponsoring it. And every year it's more guys and more stuff and more friends and more people and they call it a bear run because at the end you are exhausted. And uh, I love it. Every year I, I want to come back again and you know usually Monday mornings mm -hmm. I start to really sad because I'm not going to see everybody for right. a year. <laughs> so you know that's, that's how I feel about it. I mean you did get a video of me snoring and you're sitting in the room having a conversation. I did. <laughs> yeah, this girl, I got sleep out there, but damn. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> what other bear runs or gay events do you do? Um, I usually get to perform at a whole bunch of prides. I actually just moved here from uh, Iowa five months ago and so I did all the uh, Midwestern prize like Minneapolis, Chicago, uh, Des Moines, and so I get to go back and do that in June, and then this will be my first year being involved with Dallas Pride, and then also I've been involved with Iowa Leather Weekend, and then now TBRU. And for me, let's see, multiple Fort Lauderdale Prides, multiple Wilton Manors Prides, Stonewall if you're nasty, uh, <laughs> Miami Pride once, which is, God, if you love Latin men, or uncut dick, oh. <laughs> uh, and even even like back in my hometown. Well, I wasn't in my hometown anymore. Where I'm from, where my family lives, in Lexington, South Carolina, I did the Columbia uh, Gay Pride, which was actually much more organized mm -hmm. and had more people than I thought. Considering the gay community, I thought was very small. Um, and then I've done, let's see, as a, as an entertainer, I've done a Sugar Bear in Montreal. I've done. Uh, Oklahoma City Bear Odyssey. I've done the Big Gay Balloon Festival in Albuquerque, TBRU multiple times, <laughs> Atlanta Bear Pride, and I've done Takeover in Tampa twice where I was their guest. And last time I had a spicy bottom challenge. Girl, I wish you'd been my co host because it was hot. <laughs> I'm not just talking about the food or the men. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's usually what I want to do. And I kind of want to go to like Door Alley or Folsom mm -hmm. next, just to be yeah. a freak. But, yeah. You know, that was actually my boyfriend's idea. He said, Oh, let's go to Folsom this year. And I'm like, Can you handle that? And he's like, <laughs> I'll be ready. So. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, for combining cultures together, how do you feel about bears embracing drag culture? I think it's the best thing in the world because that is my brand. Um, my brand is hashtag Demita for Bears and because I am very big on body positivity and I've always loved bigger men. It just kind of happened and so my platform has been just really getting involved with the bear community and um, so I have bear backup dancers, I volunteer at all the bear events, I, I am involved with the bear groups in lots of different communities and that's just how I've really branded myself throughout my drag career. Yeah. And for me it's, I, you gotta keep an open mind, I mean we're all entertainers, mm -hmm. we're all artists, 
you know, we should really band together and support each other. No matter if we throw on some tights and some, you know, a wig or we keep our beard straight and our flannel crossed, you know? I mean, I, 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 I don't know, I don't know, did I, did I see you in a harness this weekend? Um, I actually didn't wear my harness this weekend. See? Shit, I'm missing out on Tamita. No, uh, uh, I, I really believe that, you know, there's this whole idea that there's some toxic masculinity going around and if you want to be a bear, you have to be super butch. And that's not the case. That's not the case at all. And with drag queens, you know, you guys can love whoever you want. I mean, we're all family. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just because one man's yuck could be another mm -hmm. man's young, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Right. So, I mean, why, why try to be divided? Why try to give each other shit, mm -hmm. you know? Let's just help each other out. I'm gonna come to your show. Right. You're gonna watch my videos. Everybody wins. <laughs> well, I think it's really cool now that there is a lot more bearded drag. Yeah. Than bearded drag queens. I'm just like, that's literal bears and drag queens having babies. Sure. And bearded and, you know, that was that was one day. I I love about doing turnabout. You know, a couple of years ago, just for funsies. And I was like, oh, come on, girl. But now I've been thinking about, oh, the glitter would probably look good. Mm -hmm. You know, give me a weird look. I might, I might do some for Halloween next year, who knows? That's usually yeah. how it starts, right? <laughs> with, with drag queens, drag queens usually start doing drag either on Pride or on Halloween. And then they're like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, have fun. Or like, in my case, that age three, watching Pocahontas and pretending to jumping off the waterfall. <laughs> Did you see the color of the wind, baby? <laughs> <laughs> Next question, what was your first experience with a bear? Oh, oh it, was, it was actually a uh, pastor. <laughs> pastor bear daddy. Yes, um, so this was even before I knew what a bear was and always been attracted to bigger men. And um, we actually, I think it was my first experience um, he came over, he, I knew him for a while, and he was in school for ministry. And oh, it's so so like a relationship? No, it wasn't It wasn't a relationship, so we just fucked. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, I was wondering, I was wondering if this was like a friendship that snowballed no. into a, a snowball, or, a, or what? Okay, okay. No, it was, it was full on <laughs> bear porn. <laughs> and of course- For me, my, my first experience with a drag queen, well, on stage, I was still in the closet, and I was with a bunch of my street friends, girls and guys. We went to PG's Cabaret, which at the time was like the gay spot in Columbia, South Carolina. And I remember Miss Nicole, I'm gonna call her Miss Nicole Summers, Nicole Sullivan, big old white queen, uh, you know, had a raspy voice like Bianca Del Rio. And she called me and my buddy up on stage. And you know, I'm in the closet, and she had, what's going on? Uh, and she was, she was asking me, you know, what my name was, and I called myself John Boy. Oh my God! Just you know, to be ambiguous about it. And then my buddy Randall came up on stage, and he said his name was Hunter. And I'm like, oh, you son of a bitch! And you know, from there, I was like, you know, I really appreciate a queen that puts time into her look, mm -hmm. team. Uh, it's it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. This does not take five minutes. This takes a good amount of time and effort and creativity. <laughs> respect this and uh, you know from there I was like the performers they're keeping us going they're bringing the crowd in you know and at, at, at the end at, when, when y'all are taking a break I get to go and talk to the cute boys I mean I'm sure you do too but mm -hmm. you know I, I, I don't have to dance later so I'm, I'm good <laughs> as far as like hooking up uh, usually it's like in hindsight I find out that they do drag or that mm -hmm. they did drag and the only thing is that some dudes look better with a beard than others. Mm -hmm. So it's like, damn, I wish they grew their facial hair or something, you know, or something like that. But I'll tell you though, I've met plenty of drag queens, both top and bottom. And just because they get fishy on the stage doesn't mean they don't know how to fuck and suck a dick, okay? That's all I gotta say about that. <laughs> I just all... broke that fourth wall because I'm like... It's real. It's real. <laughs> Alright, how do you feel about the idea of an alliance between drag queens and bears, much like drag queens have become more involved with mainstream porn stars? I 
I want to say that I have never, well actually I have met one other drag queen that is for the bears, but I, I want to say I'm one of those people who is trying to bridge that gap because that's what I have made my whole brand about and I think, I think it's a great thing. Like, <sighs> like, like you said before, we're all people, we're two different communities, but still we're all a family, we're all people, and who cares who you hang out with, who cares, it doesn't have to be just drag queens hanging out with drag queens, it doesn't have to be bears hanging out with bears, it's everybody, we're all a family, we all need to stick together because of like where we are in the world right now, but it is very nice to always know that I have bodyguards. <laughs> I mean, I, I would say the same thing, you know, we, we need to be allies, we need to help each other, we need to support each other, bring each other up in whatever our craft or our art is, because we're, we have a lot of detractors. There are a lot of haters and trolls out there, and as long as we can support each other and keep going and recognizing each other's craft and trying to be better and make progress, that's really what it's all about. That's really what we're trying to do. And if that takes me making a music video with this girl, then that's what we're gonna do. I think that sounds great. <laughs> y'all wanna, wanna see that? Y'all wanna see that? Mm, maybe, maybe, maybe. We'll let you know. We'll let you know. <laughs>
If you can organize a show or a music video with a bear or a group of bears, how would it go? Obvious. <laughs> I feel like you did something like this already. I did. Like that it was like improvised. So, but then you sent me that clip and like I just, it reminded me of like Beyonce mm -hmm. and and just like uh, chosen at the same time because there were all these big ass white boys jiggling over what she's worth and she's just like running around like ass ass mm -hmm. ass ass <laughs> and I remember seeing. I mean, of course I watch Drag Race. No, mm -hmm. well Queen doesn't watch Drag Race. Right. Uh, and I've, I've seen plenty of queens on there. Do videos with board stars, do mm -hmm. videos with hot boys. And I've always thought, nah, that, that, that seems like fun. That seems like something I want to do. And I've wanted to do music video for a while, but I cannot sing. I am not a DJ. <laughs> I cannot play. I took saxophone when I was in fifth grade oh, yeah. and never went back. So, you know, I am not great with music. I am great with my other instrument. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> it's more than a mouthful. <laughs> anyway, uh, I mean, how do you feel about it? I mean, what do you, um, what, what do you want to do? You know, I've, I need a bear anthem yeah. for myself at some point in my life. And so, like, I would love to have a music video with bears. And if I did have a music video, it would be with bears. And I'm already, I already have my, um, I have a team of bear backup dancers that I perform with on the regular at my regular drag shows because it just adds another element to, uh, drag shows and performances and I just love feeling like I am Beyonce on stage with backup dancers and you know it's so much when fun. I when I first saw Demita I actually thought she was about to drag me but then <laughs> when I got but then when I got she was, she was funny as fuck and she was just beautiful but then when I got closer I realized it wasn't her and then I got to know her and I was like I want to work with this bitch I want to do something with her she's fun and she's funny and she's gorgeous, goddamn. So if you ever need me for one of your videos, girl, oh. I'm there. If you ever need me for one of your videos, the photo bomb. You know, I'm there. Because you know, I've, I've been thinking about hiring like a, a cis woman to just be like the mom or mm -hmm. something as an extra on my scenes. But now I'm thinking like maybe I should have a drag queen in there as one of my buddies or something. I mean, men.com just did something where like boys turn into drag queens or vice versa for like the night so they get fucked by some hot guy. And I'm like, We're, we got something here, mm -hmm. we're working with that, mm -hmm. it's okay. I think Manila was in the uh, uh, Justice League spoof as one. Oh my God. <laughs> and like, they're just, like, there's like a four way, like that's something out and they're just going at it. And she like peeks behind the crate and she's like. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I'm pretty sure she would've joined in no, but uh, she showed up late, so <laughs> whatever. But you know, yeah, yeah, so. I think we can make that happen. I don't know, one of these days. One of these days. Alright, well, on behalf of MajaCup.com, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for, you know, letting Hunter come and talk to you. And, oh you know, thank you for bridging this gap. So, thank you, thank you, thank you, and we will see you next time. Yeah. Bye, guys.